Can some truly know if someone is going to hell 100%? Some people say this or that person is 100% going to hell. I think people that say that are putting themselves up on a pedestal stool to be like Jesus himself. And the person that wrote this is Cody. Normally, we don't mention your name, but but Cody wanted his name mentioned. So Cody asked that question, Ben. Well, I would agree with Cody. Uh, people are, are putting themselves on a pedestal. to know, they're, They are saying essentially they're all knowing and they know who's saved and not saved. Now, I think we could, you know, so for example, again, to be clear, uh, I think we should warn people that if they don't believe uh, the gospel, that they are in danger of hell. And, um, but I don't think we can ever say 100% you're going to hell because they, they might have believed at some point uh, or they might believe in the future, you know. So um, I think a lot of people, uh, you know, I know it sounds crazy, but I, I think the, the Bible, it's a logical conclusion after reading the Bible is that some people are going to be in heaven and probably will be wondering, how did I get here? Because <laughs> when they died, they were unbelievers. But as a child, they believed. Um, or at some point in their life, they believed. Or they believe very, for very, very uh, sporadically, or, or you know, very momentarily. But it only takes a moment of faith uh, in Christ to be. It only takes one look, as as Jesus said, as the uh, the serpent was raised in the wilderness. It only takes a look uh, or a drink. That the Bible talks about, you know, a single time, a one time act of of looking, of drinking, of eating. Uh, it's a one time deal. It's an event. Uh, it can't be undone. And um, so I think some people will forget that they believed. Yes, they have the Holy Spirit in them, but they, the Bible's clear that the Holy they can suppress the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit doesn't overpower your own will. Um, people suppress the truth. Uh, even uh, you know the Bible says the Holy Spirit convicts unbelievers of of their need to believe in Him, and so and yet they suppress it. So you know God has shown it to them who He is. He uh, and yet they still suppress it. So. Uh, again, I know that's uh, referring to unbelievers, but I believe believers can do the same thing. Uh, it's tragic, uh, you know, but uh, I believe it, it can happen. It does happen more often than we probably would all like to like to think. So I think it's absolutely correct that we should never tell people there you're going to hell. Uh, but I think we should tell people you're you're if you haven't believed, you're in real danger of going to hell. Uh, you will be going to hell if you never place your faith. If you have never or will never place your faith in Christ, in faith alone, in Christ alone, you will go to hell. Uh, and that's, I think we should make that very clear. But, um, I, you know, we, we can never know who is actually going to hell or not. I, you know, if someone could have got saved when they're five years old and they don't remember it. They don't remember why. Uh, but again, yes, they held the Holy Spirit, but it could be suppressed. Um. So, uh, yeah, I, I would say it definitely we're not in a position to do that. Hmm. That's all I have. Okay, thank you. Well, I mean, I know that uh, uh, some names come to mind. Now, my position, and I know Renee has uh, also has the same position, is that uh, if we're going to um rebuke uh we, we don't want to give a public rebuke to a, any person unless they are um ha, are very famous and have a large audience because they're capable of doing so much damage that we have to name them and the names that we commonly preach against are uh macarthur piper washer comfort and there's a few others we could add to that but these people have, have an audience because of their books, their large churches, their radio, TV shows, that they, they, they have a huge impact. So we need to warn people about them. Uh, other people that uh, uh, have small audiences are very insignificant um, by naming them. What we, what we end up doing is giving them attention. And that's part of the reason some of them even say the things they do. They want to get a reaction. They want us to name them and then all our audience now knows them and some of them will go over there and will start listening to them so we don't want to help them by making them famous or even infamous uh, but we should uh, speak out against the the, the, the teaching and the, uh, the teaching that's in this question that's that that is uh we're, we're being asked about is 
someone teaching that certain people are are definitely going to hell or are have gone to hell. And I, I would argue against that, no matter who it is. Uh, that uh, matter of fact, this is going back to the the schism we had at CES, where some people had to go their own separate ways. It, is that that was the biggest part of the problem? Is that uh, one person? It seemed that they always, every time I talked to them, they would say, "This person's not saved." And the reason, the reasons that I said, well, "Why? Why do you say that?" Uh, and the reasons were not based on any core doctrines. They're based on all kinds of other things feelings or personality or, or, or lack of composure or, or all, all kinds of things. But the point is, uh, not only uh, are, are these judgments uh, not correct, not accurate, not based upon what we really should be judging, is, is there, do they believe the gospel? Uh, but uh, it's, it's, it's a bad policy for us to start judging everybody else with salvation. If you're doing that, I have to rebuke you. I, you, you. You should not be doing that. Focus on yourself. Be confident in your own salvation and, and share the gospel. And then what if a person believes or doesn't, we never can determine that. There's no way of knowing uh, if a person believes the gospel or not. Some people even sell us their, well, the, the right thing, but we don't know if they really believe. But I'm not going to challenge them on it or question them on it. Uh, it's that, that means that... Uh, it, we will regress. The, the whole church will, will, will regress into a, um, I don't know what to call it, uh, I, I would say like a cesspool. It would be a horrible place to be where everybody's questioning everybody's salvation all the time. Now, uh, if, if someone is clearly a false teacher and they, they're not, they don't teach uh, the gospel that we're saved by faith alone in Christ alone, that works are required, we can confidently say that they are a false teacher. They, they're, a, say, they're teaching a false gospel, and that gospel doesn't save anybody. Uh, but then to declare that a person is 100% going to hell or they died, and now that saying that they are in hell, that's foolishness, that we should not be engaging in that. And if you're supporting that, it, I'm disappointed in you because really you should know, should know better. Uh, uh, let's speak out against false gospels, but engaging in uh, and judging every, each other's salvation or uh, claiming that other people are 100 percent in hell. Um, not only is it is it uh, a dangerous thing to do to fall into that and uh, then arguing back and forth about each other's salvation is is what we will end, we end up with. Uh, but it's it's a. Uh, it's bad for the, the world as they view the church. The, the, the world views the church already in a very bad light for the, for the most part. Uh, Christians, they say the Christians are hypocrites. They're bigoted. They're narrow-minded. They're on and on. And guess what? Uh, that's often true. Uh, so uh, we, we are ambassadors for Christ. And this is another way that we are not being very good ambassadors because the world looks at us as just judgmental people. Uh, we're, you know, we're supposed to make judgments. We're supposed to make righteous judgments, but this is going too far.